Right, right. Thank you. On a grip. There you are. Not up. How does it feel to be back on a horse again? I'll never forget that little pony you were on the first time I saw you. <laughs> that had to be the worst spavin', spilling leg little old hammerhead mustang I ever saw in my life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't look much better yourself. You remember you were wearing suspenders because you didn't have enough weight around your rear end to keep your pants up? How old were you? 16, 17? 15. And always laughing. No matter how bad things got, you always saw the funny side of it. Because I was a kid, and kids laugh a lot. But when you grow up, you realize that there ain't nothing to laugh about. And you grow up fast in prison. Which is something you wouldn't know anything about. Oh, wouldn't I? in about an hour. Get you some fresh clothes. Something that'll fit. Rick. Try these on. What size boots, sir? Eleven. Sir. And there is something else. I forgot to have my prison number painted on the back of the shirt.
Good, good to good. see you. Good to see you. I missed you. Oh, <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Huh? Really? <laughs> <laughs> How'd the trip go? Oh, uh, uh, interesting, interesting. How'd it work, though? Oh, smooth as bacon grease. I did everything you told me to. Everything? Well, almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Griff King. He's going to be working with us. This is my son, Jamie. How you doing, Griff? Um, I'm... Hmm. Is this, uh, the homework you've been doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess you could call it a lesson in uh, modern history. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Well, better get started on my homework. <laughs> yes, I think you'd better. <laughs> Oh, nice meeting you, Griff. This is the classiest prison I've ever been in. <clears throat> Look, Griff. This is a working ranch. In my home. For you, it's an opportunity. A chance. A new start. Whatever you want to make it. I just want to leave. Because according to the terms of my parole, that's the one thing that I can't do. And when somebody tells me I can't do something, that's the one thing I want to do. Well, I certainly think you ought to do whatever you want to do. You want to stay, stay. You want to leave? Get on that horse from right now. And if they caught me, they'd put me back in that prison for 20 years. Yeah, that's right. You want to make up your mind? Just want to put your name in the paper? I stay. See no more talk about prisons. Very funny thing of the place. It's all right. Uh, I talked to Luke. He has six he wants to try to break tomorrow. Oh, good. Oh, uh, Candy, would you show Griff where to bed down? Yeah, sure. Come on, we'll find a place for you in the bunkhouse. How much do these clothes cost? Eight dollars and sixty-three cents. I'll take it out of my first month's pay. I've already put it in the book. You were really hitting it off. Well, at least he says what's on his mind. Whether you like it or not. Griff, you sure know how to make things tough for yourself. Yeah. What's the matter with you anyway? Ben Cartwright went way out on a limb to do you a favor and you act like he's a... Did I ask him to? People like him, you don't have to ask. Favor is something you ask for. No, not always. But my motto is if you need a helping hand, you're going to find it right at the end of your own wrist. No. A man has got to shape his own life, Candy. 
And every time I turn around, somebody else is telling me where I'm going to go and what I'm going to be. If they'd given you the choice, you would have turned down the parole. Is that it? I didn't say that, but nobody asked me. All right, okay. You, you wanted a chance to say yes. That's it. You want to make up your own mind about where you go and what you do. That's it. Well, Biff, if you make up your mind to stay here, you're going to behave yourself. And you're going to work. Because if you don't, if you cause any trouble for Ben Cartwright, it's not going to be just the law that's looking for you. But you're going to show me where to bed down. Ma'am. Come on. sound like any name I ever heard. Uh, what do they call you, boy? Well, they call me the Duke of Edinburgh, but since we're all such good friends, you can just call me Sire. Hey, what's this? Sudden to go to meeting? Now, you just keep your hands off of my things, huh? Throw the trash. Got some boxes out behind the main house. You know, Lucas, uh, he just don't strike me as being friendly. You notice that? Probably got no sense of humor either. Well, we'll find out about that soon enough. <laughs> someplace else now. Well, this is not a prison. I'm not a guard. These men are not your enemies. They was laughing at me. 
No, they were laughing at the joke. Griff, if I'd have been here, I'd have been laughing. I remember the time you'd have been laughing. You remember? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Two to fight, Lucas. He's the one that started it. I don't care who started it. It's late. We got a big day tomorrow. And with the lights out and everybody in bed in five minutes. Everybody ready for lights out? Just wait a minute. I want to put these uh, ropes back. It's here. your last chance, boy. Well, wait a minute. You and Leo right at Salt Creek make a rough tally of the herd. Right. That. Uh, Hal, Andy, start moving a remote out that little canyon to the creek. Right, Andy. Also, Shorty, you're going to be working the Three Finger Canyon. Start moving the strays down toward the main herd. Right? Oh, no. Man, it's so hot up there, Candy. It's going to be hot where I am, too, buddy. Oh, Lucas, uh, you're not to saddle up your horse. You're going to be working with me and Joe today. Griff. What do you want me to do? I'll check with the boss, see where he wants you to work. Ben? Anything particular you want Griff to do today? Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of logs back at the house. Chop them up, stack them in the cords. You'll find an axe and a saw in the tool house. Uh, wait a minute. That, that's chores, Mr. Cartwright. I put in my time doing chores. I can ride, I can handle a rope. I worked as a top hand on a ranch once. Well, then you ought to know that the new man gets the dirty jobs, and you're the new man. Look, my being here is your idea. The wardens. All I'm asking for is a chance to prove I can do the job. You chop wood? I can chop wood. Fine, let's see if you can do that job. But I don't like it. Neither does anybody else. Done. Uh, hey, I just wondered, may maybe Griff could uh, give Candy and I a hand today. Uh, 
Then if it doesn't work out, he can always chop the wood tomorrow. Horses, who's the boss, boy? You know, the master. You can't let them know that they're tougher than you are. I'll show you what I mean. You got him going for the minute, sir. that next horse? this new man you've got working out here, King, Griff King. What about it? Suppose you tell me. Well, that's not the way, Captain Mouse. You got something in your mind, you just say it. All right. Man gets out of prison. Moves near Virginia City. 
first thing the store gets robbed. What's that got to do with him? Hey, just a minute, man. Whoever robbed that store took a pistol, rifle, cartridges for each, blanket, uh, slicker, canned food. Uh, sounds like somebody's putting together a traveling kit. That's what it sounds like to me. Had you hear about I got a letter from the prison. They felt it was important that the proper authorities be notified. Why didn't you tell me you had an ex-convict working out here, Ben? We got here a couple of days ago. Rode in my care. Didn't think there was any rush about it. I see. Well, maybe you don't know these people as well as I do. I want to talk to them. I'll go with you. You stay right out here. I'll bring him out. If you don't mind. Rip. Friend of mine here, Clem Foster. I want to ask you a couple of questions. What about? You mind coming down here, boy? Some people call me Griff, and others call me Mr. King. And those are the only two names that I answer to. Mr. King. We had a store robbed in Virginia City last night. You know anything about it? Yeah, I know the store was robbed. How'd you know that? Because you just told me. And I don't think long they lie, do they? Where were you last night? He was sleeping in his bunk. No. Nope. Slept out in the woods. Any witnesses? Come on, boy, you come with me. Oh, wait, easy, easy. You went to jail as long as. Mr. King has been in jail. He'd probably want to sleep in the woods, too, wouldn't he? He's got no witnesses, Ben. Do you? As far as the law is concerned, he's presumed to be innocent until you can prove him guilty. Isn't that right? Where's your gear? I'm wearing it. Where's your bunk? It's the last one on the right as you go in the door. You can't miss it. It's the one on the floor. Now, you're wrong. I didn't tell him about you. I got a letter from the warden. What do I have to do? Live my whole life in the middle of a crowd so the next time somebody's robbed, I got a witness? Nobody said it was going to be easy. What do you have to do to get people to trust you? Well, maybe you can start by trusting them. Find something, Clem? Yep, an alpine. Tell him. Well, uh, I had a little excitement in the bunkhouse last night, and uh, I couldn't get to sleep, so uh, I went for a walk, and I saw a griff there out sleeping under a tree. What time was that? I didn't look at her watch, but it was sometime between one and two. Tulsa saw me leave the bunkhouse. He could tell you what time it was. That's about the time the store was robbed. Huh. Thank you, Lucas. Yes, thanks. Satisfied? I gotta go find the umbrella. How long have you known Lucas? Ever since he started working here, why? I just wonder. Good evening. How's it going? Oh, looks 
like a good game. Hey, I want to thank you for what you did today. All I did was tell the truth. Yeah, well, I just want you to know I appreciate it. Well, why don't you just go appreciate it someplace else? Tulsa? Book. I got the winner of that game. Ain't that right, Tulsa? That's right. What about the winner of that game? All right. I just want to tell you how much I've enjoyed this evening. What a pleasure it is being here. And how I'm warmed by your friendship. Jenna, you have a book in your mouth. Yeah. To show you my appreciation, I am going to shut up. Thank you for your kind attention. Didn't get that ladder go fixed yet. I'll get it. You want me to fix it for you?
Oh yeah, sorry boys. Hey Griff, there's not a bad bunch of guys in here. Just don't try so hard. Give them time. They'll let you off the hook. They'll even let you breathe, maybe. Uh, fellas, I, uh, Need a volunteer. Ride up to the line shack in Seminole Canyon. Take up some supplies and get the shack ready for winter. Hmm? Well, I'll do it. I wasn't going into town today anyway. I appreciate that very much, Griff, but uh, I don't think you know this country well enough yet to... Well, you can just tell me how to get there. Well, not quite as simple as that, but thank you anyway. I'll go, Miss Cartwright. Thank you, Lucas. I guess I owe you another day off, huh? All right, fellas. Nice to meet you, don't <laughs> $0.63. I trust you. Not enough to let me go riding off to Seminole Canyon by myself. Thank you, Jim. Go ahead, Jim. Better. 
Still got a long way to go. Come inside. I, uh, I gotta run an errand. Well, then hurry back. Five minutes? And you won't go away? Uh, what's your name? Amy. I'm Grip. I'll meet you there. straighten out. Somebody ran out the back door. By the time I got to my feet and out the front door, you were running at me with a pistol in your hand. You just happened to come along when somebody was robbing it, huh? No, I didn't just happen to wander in. Somebody sent me there to pick up a package that probably doesn't exist. Who? The same man who lied when he said he saw me sleeping under the tree the night that store was robbed. Why didn't you tell us then? Because he would have put me in jail. Why would Lucas lie to give you an alibi? Not to give me an alibi, to give him an alibi. Don't you see, if he said he saw me sleeping under that tree, that means he had to be there too, about the same time the store was being robbed. But Lucas didn't need an alibi. All he had to do was let me throw you in jail. Oh, he didn't want me in jail. Not then. He wanted whatever's missing from that Wells Fargo office. Fifty thousand dollars paper money. Easy to carry, easy to hide. 
I have somebody just like me to take the blame. You could have a talk with Lucas. He's up in Seminole Canyon. No, he's not. I went and got him last night. He's right in here. see you. I thought he was going to kill me. Why'd you lie to me, Lucas? Oh, you, uh, you mean about seeing him that night? That's what I mean. Well, he was one of the guys in the bunkhouse. I just didn't want to see him get in any trouble, and I didn't think he'd do anything like that. Well, I, I know I shouldn't have done it. Griff says he asked you to pick up a package for him at Wells Fargo. Is that true? Yeah. Well, it's been there over a week. I was going to pick it up on my day off. You can check that out. Ask him. Well, Griff? Well, what? What do you want me to do? Say I did it? I didn't do it! Then I'll give you all the help you need in proving it. I'll get you the best lawyer in Virginia City. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save you a lot of money. I'm gonna get on a horse and ride right out of here. You do that, Griff. And you keep on riding for the rest of your life. If I don't do that, he's gonna put me in prison for the rest of my life. You'd better believe that, boy. Now, you see what I mean? Now, get into that cell. <laughs> Why don't you just take your two dollars back? I ain't gonna be your own payday. Candy, come on.
What did you do to Ben Cartwright? <sighs> Nothing. And I didn't rob that Wells Fargo office. And why are you running away, Grip? Because nobody listens to an ex-con. I listen to you. Ben Cartwright will listen to you. They'll all listen to you if you go back there and talk. Yeah, so what you taking me back there for? To talk? More talk? I'm not taking you anywhere. You go anywhere you like it. Listen to me! Here. Take this and go to Mexico. Go to China. Go to... I know this could have waited till morning, but I wouldn't have slept very well just thinking about it. Came in, and I want you to see it as soon as possible, Ben. Lucas, too. I know. Don't say a word. I, I've already said it all to myself. now. I'd be happy to know we got the man. New pistol, new rifle. He got himself a new horse. That stuff that was stolen from the store. Two saddlebags full of money, $50,000 worth. I told you, I told you I didn't knew it. That's right, you told us. You told us all along it was Lucas. man who, uh, who did it is in Carson City. Well, I knew damn well it wasn't me. Hey, Griff, uh, why don't you get yourself some good rest? Because hmm? tomorrow, you're going to be working all day, chopping wood. Well, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Wages, you did it. You get any more bets like that, you let me know. Yeah, well, he had for it was a week's wages. It's all right, I'll win it back for you playing checkers. Oh, you couldn't win with a winning stick. What was in that package? Oh, my mom over in Tucson sent me a birthday cake. When was your birthday? Oh, about six weeks ago. Don't you think it's kind of stale? Well, it's a thought that counts, ain't it?